Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land calm, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Wednesday. Talked about some cool things earlier on uh, Shoe Live, which Shoe Live is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. If you haven't seen it, y'all check it out. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all feeling it, feeling the music that's being created and whatnot. You know, I've been putting a lot of effort into making sure that this channel has so many episodes with my beautiful face. So I'm gonna keep working towards creating more. And showing y'all all the things that I do and all the creations that I create. Um, I might talk about Shoe Pro later, but for now, I just want to get into this stream today. My ADHD is kicking in really bad, so if I'm rocking back and forth the whole time. Y'all know what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize on behalf of my ADHD. So, today's stream is called Light Codes and Intuition. By light codes, I mean information that the sun sends you when you look, when you sun gaze, which is looking at the sun during golden hour or sunrise, and also intuition, which intuition is uh, listening to that little voice within, which is your higher self, basically guiding you towards your path. Now. The reason I named the stream this today, because today, really just this whole week so far, I set an intention that this week was going to be a fire ass week, of me ascending even more than I could imagine. 
So I made sure I put as much effort into actually doing that this week. And I'm starting to see the results of that. Plus I have a great person on my side that's helping me do this. So, you know, it's always good to have people who believe in your dream and your vision. Sometimes you have to fucking like be extra and make people realize that shit. And sometimes you don't. And some people just see the light in you already. So those type of people, you pour into them. Because things start to go faster and things start to grow bigger. So always, always, y'all, if you got somebody on your team, if you got somebody on your side, you got somebody who genuinely care about your well-being and your health, the whole, the whole thing that comes with being an entrepreneur, a creator, an artist, whatever title that you go under, it's always good to uh, make sure that you want to use people's cups as much as they can. Light codes and intuition. So, this is kind of a shaky subject because it can get really deep. And y'all know how I am about going super deep. If you watch the channel, you should know by now. I have a, a quote where I say I only want to do the skin or, or the hair on the skin level of talking about occultism, which is the hidden, the hidden knowledge, which I'm making it unhidden because I feel like no matter what, even if someone stumbles onto this channel and they may be some evil person, what they do is going to affect something that will continue to happen. So, it can't be that fucking horrible. And the way I look at it, can the world really get any more worse than it already is? I mean, we've gone through pretty much just every injustice you can think of. But we've also gone through some great things as well. So, you know, it's all about perspective. You know, I really don't like to attach myself to fake negativity because it's just it's the world is what you make it you know what i'm saying if you want it to look like shit it'll look like shit if you want it to look like fucking fucking rainbows and unicorns then that's what it'll look like but just always remember you can sell yourself an illusion for only so long <laughs> so just make sure that you're in reality oh the music is loud okay Hopefully y'all can still hear the damn music, cause I be turning that shit low as fuck. Uh, is can you still hear the music a little bit? Help! Can you let me know in the chat, please? Is it too loud still? A little bit. Can I turn it up a little bit more? Just a tiny bit. Just a just a a niblet. You can turn it up slightly, okay. Let's see. All right. All right, we gonna go with this for now. So, hopefully that's not too loud. If it is, just let me know in the chat. I'm paying attention. But yeah, so, I'm gonna just keep this on. All right, cool. Thank you, thank you. Y'all, uh, fuck with 1111 too. She actually, uh, if you go to my website, all of her products are on there as well. So check that shit out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't lose. So back to what I was saying. Light codes and intuition. So like I was saying, I like to keep shit on a real surface level. I, I want to release the occult information, but I don't want to badger people with uh, super deep information where they got to go do a shit ton of research. I want these live streams to be something that's straightforward. So... You can watch this live stream again if you feel like the information is good and you feel like it'll be able to help you or someone else please share all right and subscribe to the channel if you got amazon prime you can subscribe to the channel for free so don't miss out all right y'all i'm always doing shit. now i got a question now i had put a poll up but i don't see it on my channel so you may have to actually go to my channel but i want to know if i should do more shoe lives throughout the week because right now I do Lord of Perfected Work every day, which is where I come on here. And I talk about uh, the occultism of the world, which is the hidden knowledge. But I'm making it unhidden because I feel like everyone deserves to have knowledge, regardless of whether they use it for evil or good. And also, I do Shoe Live, which is where I make music live. I make a beat live and I make a song or I write lyrics and I, 
I spit the verses live, or sometimes it might be a whole song. So if y'all think I should do more shoe lives, let me know. Y'all can hit me up on my DM on Instagram or Facebook at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. Or you can uh, just put in the chat. If you somehow manage to find this poll, vote, you know, vote on the poll and that will let me know. You know, I want this to be a kind of more interactive channel because I appreciate y'all for even coming in into this this uh, live stream. You know, I put my heart and soul into these shits for y'all because I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. So light codes and intuition. Light codes is information that you get from the lights. Now, I'm going to keep this real basic. When light comes into your eyes, y'all have heard of the cones and I want to say it's cones and something else. But there's two particular uh, geometric shapes that are inside of your eyes that turn the information that you get from the light into what you see, which is literally the third dimension which is the dimension that we're in now that everyone sees okay so when you're looking at this dimension is it is from the information that you you and the sun are sharing which means since you're receiving this information depending on how well your uh, chakra system is aligned how well they're spinning or if one's too low or one's too high how you receive information is basically what you see and how you and reality correspond with each other. So say for example, you receive a light code, which is a download from the sun, and it's an update to your chakra system for you to experience heightened intuition or experience aligning with your true life purpose or your true mission or you know anything that will put you in alignment with your higher self which is who you really are but um, after the trials and tribulations of finding out who you are and what you're supposed to do in this world. Now, light codes can be kind of tricky because there's so many ways to receive uh, downloads from universal source energy. Now, uh, previously on one of the episodes of Lord Perfected Work, I spoke on the Taurus Fields this the Taurus field which you have your own personal Taurus field that connects you to the Taurus field of the earth now that is one way to receive light codes because remember if the earth is a living being that means it receives light and it has to receive light in order for things to grow because plants also have a chakra system where they receive information from the sun as well and they also have an intuition they know to lean a certain way when the sun is going a certain way they know that if uh, see plants are geniuses to me because they understand the growth process on a mathematical level. So they know that if I grow an inch and I grow a leaf here, that means I need to grow this amount of inch, amount of inches and I know, need to grow this many amount of leaves after. And it continues that process until it becomes whatever was planted, whatever that seed was. So. The same thing actually goes for humans. But the, the fucked up shit about with humans is we were given free will to where we can actually interact with everything on the planet, which is why it's kind of tricky, like I said, with light codes dealing with people because plants already, they pretty much go along with their, their role in the universe. Like they know their role as soon as they are you know planted they know what their role is i'm supposed to become a tomato i'm supposed to become a squash you know what i'm saying they don't really be like you know what i'm about to trick this motherfucker i know i'm a green bean seed but i'm gonna become a watermelon on his ass like plants plants don't move like that unless they genetically modify which beware of shit like that gmos is the motherfucking devil but we as humans can become anything See, we are planted into another human, right? We can grow up to be anything from doctor to an actual plant because our life decisions may cause us to get shot and become brain dead. And then we literally become a living vegetable. <laughs> Which that's a pretty intense example, but you know, the plants just, they get it. But see, that's the thing though. They know their purpose and their role as soon as they come into being. So, 
with us, we also have that same ability, but because of free will and because of the Merkaba being created outside of us by the opposite side, the left hand path, which if it wasn't for the left hand path, there would be no occultism. And I'm gonna just say that, but um, right hand path stole occultism from the left hand path. See, when, okay, so this is another example I'll use. Now, in Star Wars, you had the Jedi Knights and you had the Sith, which would be the bad guys with the red lightsabers. And you had the Jedis had the blue or the green or the purple lightsabers. Purple lightsabers actually for the middle path guys, but there's uh, there was one Jedi that was in, there was one good Jedi that was actually, a, he was a middle Jedi, but he went all the way to the, the light side. But that's besides the point. So you had the Jedi and you had the Sith, right? So with the Jedi, you had uh, like Yoda and you had uh, Master Windu. You had all these guys, right? But see, there was a point in Star Wars where the Sith had become so powerful, which is the left hand path, that the right hand path, which they use the force, which is universal source energy to, to fill the dark side from you know if they're about to do something at one point yoda stopped feeling the dark side As a matter of fact all the jedis did they couldn't sense the dark side because the dark side had like blocked them off from doing that so yoda didn't tell these other jedis and because of that a lot of jedis died so you see it's the same thing with occultism you have information right but for what you deem is the betterment of the people or to keep the populace safe, you withheld information because you want to keep society a certain type of way. And you don't want them to do things that you think might upset the balance. But see, if, if occult information wasn't meant to be known, then it wouldn't be known. But see, more and more, new age spirituality is becoming popular amongst the young peoples and the peoples on the YouTubes and the Googles and all that good shit. I mean, it's bound to come out. And the left hand path is actually the reason why it's coming out because they know the same thing as well. See, they know in order for them to still remain, they would have to release this information, right? People like me release this information, right? But that's because I follow the middle path. See, I don't care for either side because both of them in some form or fashion are wrong. They're both wrong. See, when you don't have faith in the people and you feel like you're over people to be to be the one to decide for others what you think that they're able to do or not able to do, that is why we're in the positions that we are in today where we have people protesting what our government does or people protesting what world governments do in general you know us as human beings and primordial beings always have a chance to step into our roles within our life and using these light codes and intuition is why i'm speaking about this today because important information like this is something that i feel will actually make the world a better place because when you give people the power it makes them reliant on self and you're giving them the information to find self to discover self see only reason certain sides of power don't like that is because well this this guy's gonna kick me out of my position but we don't care about that the populace don't care about that mundanely people have been living for years and just mindlessly watching and going along with things that are going on in the world so if that's the case then what's the big deal right see it's not really about that it's always about this no matter what so let's turn the world on its ear then if if it's about this then let's create something that is about this matter of fact let's just create our own money so now in this world we have cryptocurrency but see, 
I would love to explain what a cryptocurrency actually is and what a blockchain actually is. But for those who have never heard of a cryptocurrency watching this channel, I'll type it into the chat. Oops. I get rid of this shit. All right, let me, let me type it again. Okay, cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency is a digital asset that has become pretty much everything under the sun as well as a form of uh, buying tangible goods. Like I said, digital asset. So people, individuals in the world who do not own a bank, who do not own a credit union, don't own any type of financial institution that's physical, brick and mortar. All they have is a computer, a whitelist, which is a summary of what the cryptocurrency does do or what the purpose of it is, and a popular platform that they want to push the idea of, of the cryptocurrency itself on. So you might have like a, a marketplace online that you created, uh, fuck it, uh, Tiger's Tiger Shop, where you sell fucking stuffed tigers. And you create this cryptocurrency called Tiger Coin that you can only use to buy fucking these stuffed tigers on Tiger Shop. <laughs> That's basically what this is, is you come up with your own marketplace and you sell tiger or you sell this cryptocurrency as well as the marketplace. Now, what people are starting to do with this shit is they're creating literally digital banks and digital stock markets that people can go into to make this tiger coin worth a certain amount of money. So, now not only do you have tiger coin a currency that you use on Tiger Shop to buy stuffed tigers, but you also have Tiger Stock now, which is which is the Tiger Coin. So people are trading Tiger Coin as a stock. They're using Tiger Coin to buy these stuffed tigers, and it's a it's a uh, like a you know how you go in fucking uh, I don't know, Chuck E. Cheese, man. You got Chuck E. Cheese money. And you only can use it in Chuck E. Cheese because you can't take Chuck E. Cheese money to fucking Walmart and think you're going to buy a flat screen. You know what I'm saying? Now you got Tiger Coin totally exclusive to a Tiger Shop. So now Tiger Shop is a full institution. It, it done went from just being a store to a bank, a stock market, a digital asset. Like, you understand where I'm coming from? So people are taking these light codes and they're coming up with their own many worlds and people who feel like they can trust that asset over the old assets are starting to subscribe to those assets so i'm dropping bombs right now okay for those who are watching this this is this is a good stream because i'm telling you potentially how you can do the same thing but it just take it don't even take much because now they have a way where you can uh, you don't have to know how to code at all how to build any of this shit they have it to where you can come up with this shit and use a platform to create this shit and now all you got to do is just put the shit out get enough people to fuck with it and now you got your own everything i just described up to this point so following your path within all of this right is the same as the person who received the download to start doing the same thing resources we need resources how can i create a community and build something that the community needs it's the resources right people need food people need shelter people need money to buy the shelter and buy the food people need institutions and infrastructures to where they can go buy food and you know what i'm saying so now you got online institutions like Amazon, uh, fuck, Overstock, eBay. My good people, if you, if you out here and you feeling like, okay, everything's impossible, listen, we are in the time now where everything is possible. 
to be able to do anything now. You can come up with your own government, basically. That is literally what a cryptocurrency is. That's what a blockchain is. A digital ledger that as soon as one person tries to hotwire this shit, it fucks the whole currency up. So everybody asked out. And it tells you exactly who the fuck did it. Algorithms. They done made it to where, y'all, this shit is crazy. So people are literally solving algorithms to make money. And I'm not talking about, no, somebody got a math problem and they figuring out. They're using computers all day to solve algorithms. And every time they solve an algorithm, they get one of that currency. So I solve an algorithm for a Bitcoin. I have one Bitcoin. I saw the algorithm for tiger coin. I have one tiger coin. Now. I didn't have to do no labor except solve this algorithm. And now they're letting the computer do it. So you don't even have to fucking, you don't have to sit here and solve the problem. You just let the computer solve the problem all day long. Producing tiger coin. For the end of the day, you done solved 20 algorithms. You got 20 tiger coins now. So, we're in an age now where these light codes and this intuition that you have, that you're born with, that everyone's born with, it's time for you to align with that intuition and align with these light codes because the information that we're receiving is changing this world. The world is changing around us every day in the best ways possible. Yeah, granted, uh, cryptocurrency is terrible also because Dark web uses cryptocurrency. Criminals funnel money into cryptocurrency. We know this. <laughs> if, if you don't, that's what it, uh, probably the original reason why they even created the shit. But that's what I'm saying. Left hand path, right hand path. Fuck that shit. You get the information and you do what you want with it. But you gotta always remember cause and effect. What you do is gonna make some kind of effect. So if you wanna see some positive shit happen in the world, Take some negative shit and turn it positive. If you want to see some negative shit in the world, take something positive and make it negative. But it's free game out here. See, we lucky. We not we we get planted and we can become anything. Plants can't do that. Animals can't do that. You don't see animals fucking being born and the nigga's a penguin and he's like, hey, 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 bro, watch how I'm about to trick these humans. I'm about to turn into a motherfucking monkey. Like, you don't see that, bro. See, we can have multiple personalities. We can fucking be any fucking role in the world. We pretty much can do whatever the fuck we want. Like, it's free game out here, y'all. And granted, I'm going to try and give y'all free game as much as I can. Uh, whenever I do these streams, I tell y'all every fucking thing I know because I'm tired of keeping it in my fucking brain. I act on this shit immediately anyway. But I want people to know that, hey, anything is possible. You don't even have to be a fucking genius to do it now. They're making it so easy that someone who didn't graduate high school, never went to college, fucking probably never went to school can do this shit. All you got to do is find somebody who's, who understands it to a degree. Team up with them because you always want to team up with people who are smarter than you who lives the life that you aspire to live, who's balling out the frame and they actually want to be around your ass, bruh, those are the people that you want around you. Always. Because they're gonna, they, what you seeing them do every day, eventually you gonna get off your ass and you gonna be like, hey, I need to get like homie. I don't, I, I, whatever I'm doing, I'm in the wrong business. Straight up. Like people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars just doing mundane shit but it takes just a little bit of consistency and effort man real shit you can sit here and look for an excuse but i doubt that y'all if y'all watching this channel i doubt that y'all on some shit like that y'all looking for the info i already know what y'all coming in here for the info it, this ain't no fucking bullshit channel where people on here yo yo i got on twitch the other day right why I found a fucking channel got like 4 million fucking followers on it, right? And all Shorty was doing was she had these silicone ears on the mic, yo. 
she had some shit to say subscribe for 30 seconds. Not even a minute, two, five minutes. 30 seconds of ear licking. Now, what I mean by ear licking is she had these silicone ears on the mic, bro. And she, somebody subscribed to the channel, she'll lick the fucking silicone and you hear it on the fucking mic, bro. Four million fucking su subscribers, yo. Like, I'm telling y'all, you literally can do anything and make money now. Anything. Y'all, I know I probably sound like I'm just trying to reiterate a point too much, but I'm just letting y'all know this because... People are doing crazy things, but you don't have to. You can do anything. If you want to fucking cook a damn chicken nugget, if you want to come out with a channel called Chicken Nugget Channel, bro, you can literally do it. <laughs> Where all y'all do is talk about who got the best chicken nuggets and shit. Like, people going to watch it. Somebody's going to fucking watch it. You stay consistent and you get some people on there and y'all really elegant with this fucking chicken nugget shit. You're going to have 100,000 fucking subscribers. Listen, all you need is 100 people to live comfortably buying your merchandise and your products, okay? That's it. Hell, 50. Because think about it like this. If you're selling 50 products a month at $20, y'all do the math, okay? You do the math. Anybody can do this shit now, man. And that's the thing. It's not about trying to sell a product to someone. It's actually creating a community, giving something to the world that you feel within your heart the world needs. Right? And then getting to that point where, all right, I think this, this is what the world needs. I'm going to share this with the world. You get 10 people spending $100. I mean, do the math. A month. That's rent. But it has to be something of value. Now, if Shorty if Shorty can lick silicone ears. Now, think about it like this. She got 4 million subscribers. When you get a subscription on Twitch, you get paid for that. Okay? All she doing is licking silicone ears and whispering on the mic. It's an ASMR channel. So she whispering about when I came to the channel, all she was doing was showing Pokemon cards and whispering about the Pokemon cards. And then whenever somebody was subscribed to the channel, she started licking the silicone ears. Y'all, I can't, I couldn't make this shit up if I wanted to. I'm just now discovering this shit. I say this to say that if you want to do something, fuck with me, and I'll show you some. I'll show you some shit. Y'all already know what's up. Shoelovesrebels.com. You can fuck with my Instagram. Shoelovesrebels LLC. Spelt spelt uh, L L as in like letters, not spelled out. Okay. LLC. Shoelovesrebels LLC. If y'all want to hit me up and you like, I got this idea. I will not turn you down. I have gotten some weird ideas, okay? People people have come to me with some crazy ideas. You think I was like, nah, bro, that's too weird for me. It was a matter of fact, I had somebody come to me with a fetish idea. How they can make a fetish, uh, build a business off of having a fetish. You think I was like, and it was a fetish that I personally myself do not subscribe to. You think I was like, nah, bro, I'm not fucking with that. I said, nah, man. It's, first off, I ain't judging nobody because get money how you get get it how you get it, player. You know what I'm saying? You know, just have integrity. That's all I say. Honesty, integrity, and fucking fulfillment. If if you if all three of those things are checked off the list, then I'm with it. If this is what makes you genuinely happy, I'm with it. As long as you ain't hurt nobody and everybody in the in the shit agrees to that shit, I'm with it. So if you got ideas, come fuck with me. So, light codes are being sent to you at any given time. And you're not just only getting light from the sun, but you're also getting the, the light from the sun bouncing off of the different planetary bodies that are in our solar system, as well as you getting light from the center star of our uh, solar system. 
or not our solar system, but our galaxy. My bad, y'all. Which would be serious. So, at one point in time, actually, we actually went off of the star of Sirius to record time. But now that we're on the Gregorian calendar, which was created by uh, somebody, somebody named Gregorian. I'm just bullshitting. <laughs> I'm sure you could get on Wikipedia and look this up. Gregorian calendar. I'll type that in there. That is the calendar that we... I follow the Ethiopian calendar, or sometimes I follow the moon cycles because following the moon cycles for a man is good for you because it keeps you aligned with divine feminine energy. So in case you uh, didn't know that, now you know. But I tend to follow the uh, Ethiopian calendar, which in the Ethiopian calendar right now is 2012. It's not 2021. But if you look at the... Uh, the years is like reverse, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so looking at all these different light light forms and light bodies and receiving this information gives you information within your light because remember, you're a star in a human body, okay? Remember, uh, I don't know if you watched the stream yesterday, but I was talking about how the sperm hits the egg and it creates a spark, right? That is literally the star being born. So you have a star within your body, which is called your solar plexus. This star is what you use. It is your human will. It is the will to do things, how you create in this world. So when, when you tap into the energies within your body and they're in alignment and you making sure that you're eating the right diet, or if anything, just eating good, you know, you can't. I can't expect people to eat perfect, but as long as you're eating superfoods that are keeping your chakras in alignment so that you can receive these light codes and then your intuition begins to heighten and you start to be able to understand what the, that that voice in your mind that talks to you like you know when you uh when you count in your head you hear you hear that voice but it doesn't speak out loud that voice starts to tell you shit and depending on how uh okay it's like a signal on a tv right when the signal ain't right or if the tv's old or you know outdated or certain shit is fucking it up it's not a clear channel so it can't receive the signal well. Think of yourself as that TV trying to receive the signal well. You got to upgrade yourself. You got to do the right things that you feel within yourself will make you a clear channel to receive those light codes so that you're and to heighten your intuition so that as new light codes come in, you're able to discern them through your entire being, not just mentally, but the entire being, all your bodies. Because all the versions of yourself you have the skeletal the, the light body the etheric body um the blood uh mucus everything all these different layers of you are different dimensions of you so all those dimensions of you tap into these light codes in different forms so making yourself a clear channel helps it helps in the process of receiving that information and it makes it easier for you to display that information to manifest it into a physical tangible thing so right now with full moons that we just came out of new moons that we go into uh eclipses all that all of these send all it's all it is is a, a different definition of light so just be aware of that all these different lights that come into your being these are are codes these are information for you to upgrade yourself for you to be aware of what the earth is upgrading to what the animals and the plants are upgrading to because just as you receiving these lights everything else is and they're moving towards certain things so that it's it's all a flow everything is a big flow so 
animals might start migrating to different areas and humans might start doing certain things, you know, affecting how the animals migrate. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is affected by that and certain things start happening. So now that you're aware of these light codes, right? Now, take a look at the world around you. And you don't even have to go super deep, you know, observe till like you drive yourself crazy, but just, just watch TV and watch the news for like 30 minutes or real news. You know what I'm saying? Or if you got uh, people that live in different countries, ask them what's coming up on the news. If you got friends that live in different, different countries, ask them what's on the news out there. Go outside and just go to public places. I mean, you know, if you like, uh, if you subscribe to the COVID shit, then, you know, wear your mask and go out in public and fucking look, you know, just see what's going on. I mean, shit, like I just said, COVID, look, you know, just look what's going on around you and, and pay attention to, you know, that shit. And then ask yourself, why, why is, why do I think this is happening? And that's when that little voice will start to talk to you. Because all, all it takes for that voice to really kick in is for you to acknowledge it. And for you to, um, like, call on to it. Because all it is is you. This is your higher self that you're talking to. You might not realize at a certain point that it always is talking to you. But when you start to acknowledge it and you start to let it bring you the answers... And you're not, like, forcing it, like, I need to know. Like, you just ask yourself a question, you know, like, all right, I'll give you an example. This is what I do. So, uh, when I first wake up in the morning, I do these things. Well, I do these certain, uh, these, I do these certain actions. I call them spiritual keys, or I just call them keys for short. And basically what they are is these are things that I do to tap in with the energies around me, myself, and past energies like my ancestors, who are, I am, and I am the ancestors now. If you understand what I'm saying, the people who have passed away, I am them now in the present state. So even just presently tapping in with that energy now also taps me into the past and the future at the same time. So I wake up and I do these keys, right? And uh, one of the keys that I do is, I might ask myself a question. So I'll be like, uh, shit, I'm gonna I'm say how I really said. I call, I'm a shaman, man. So I follow my own spiritual system. So I call my God, Lord Shoe X, straight up. <laughs> Let me just keep it funky with you. I call my God, Lord Shoe X. So I say, Lord, shoe, X. Or really, I just say, Lord, shoe, or shoe. Because, you know, that's the homie. I align my higher self with source. Because source is you or your higher self. You know, it's all is one. Okay? Let's just keep that in mind. here. So I just say, Lord, shoe. Um, uh, shit. Lord, shoe. Uh, I like this girl. Can you show me a sign I'm supposed to be talking to her or something like that? You know, I'm, this is a terrible example, but I'm just trying to think of something off the top of my head. Lord Shu, I like this girl, so I, can you send me a sign or, you know, something that I'll recognize, like a sound or, you know, just send me something that I'll recognize throughout the day to let me know that I'm supposed to be talking to this girl. So after that, after I do my spirit, all of my spiritual keys, I forget I even did this shit because when you like thinking about it, it's not, that voice ain't gonna come because remember the monkey brain. That's what that's what uh, that's what I call it the monkey brain where you just thinking about a bunch of shit and you don't have no control over your thoughts. That's when the voice is like behind all of that shit, so it can't can't get the message to you because you're not clear. So what I tend to do is I do my keys and then I do meditation to clear my mind of that shit. And then I go about my day. You might hear a crazy ass sound that you recognize from like your childhood or something, or you might see something come up on the TV, like a symbol that you like recognize from like your childhood or like a memory pertaining to this, this girl that you like or whatever, or this dude that you like. And you be like, okay, thanks for the sign. 
See, all it takes is finding your way to communicate. See, that's my way of doing it. When you develop your own system, you actually can do the same shit. You actually can tap into it only in your own way. But see, that's why occultism has been hidden from people. Because it is giving people a chance to create gods, which is why we have gods now. Because people figured that out within themselves using occult information, aligning with the energy of themselves, which is why they be, end up becoming saints, or they end up becoming... Uh, gods or goddesses that or deities that people fuck with now or important figures in history become these deities to us in current time because all it took was somebody who tapped into that energy and same thing with uh, Jesus you know for the Christian people out there Jesus did the same thing he did it so strong that he he became the I am presence he aligned with himself so much that he became God so, all it takes is tapping into these light codes to be able to discover your spiritual system, to tap into your intuition, to be able to guide yourself through, through yourself. Because source energy is always flowing through your crown chakra into the rest of your chakras, right? Ain't no telling how it is now because we didn't got this new upgrade, the 144,000 message I was speaking about. We got this new upgrade. I'm, I'm getting used to a lot of this shit myself or being open to more uh, more God force, which is really just love, unconditional love energy. And just being accepting of the present moment and the love within that moment and, and not looking towards the past or the future because that's how you end up saying stupid shit to people that you love because you're not focusing on the moment. So, it's just crazy how now, now that everybody is becoming aligned with those energies we're able to all do this we're, we all can do this that's why i'm on twitch y'all know damn well i don't get on shit like this man i don't even be on youtube i, I got on youtube for like a month or two and put videos out and was like yeah i'm not feeling this shit because it's a hundred people on youtube that have communities right and you would think okay well it's communities out here but People looking for entertainment. And I, I hate to say that, but they really are. People are looking for entertainment. And I understand that. You know, I'm, I'm not hating. I'm not hating at all. Like, if, if, we, uh, if we out here subscribing to certain things, and at the end of the day, we satisfied with the choices that we made, ain't shit I can say about it because I'm not you. But there's people who are in the spiritual community that are fucking terrible. They will down people. And, and I ain't going to lie and sit here and say that I ain't do it or have never done it. But th just because you reach a certain level of ascension doesn't mean that people are going to understand you. That just comes with that just comes with knowledge of self. See, you expecting somebody to understand you. It's not going to work that way. You got to find out self and be happy with that. That's the whole point of occultism. See, occultism is like racism. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, certain people learned a certain thing about themselves, and they're like, "Oh wow, I'm on another level. I'm I'm up on uh, over people. I am guilty of that shit. I am not gonna sit here and tell you that I've never done that before. I'm guilty of that shit. But that's why with having occultism. And having sacred knowledge of how to basically become a goddess or a god, you have to be humble. Straight up. Humble yourself. 1111 say that shit to me all the time. Humble yourself. I swear, if she didn't say it, sometimes I just would be fucking crazy. Because the information... Y'all, you, you stumbled on the stream. You see what I'm talking about, right? This is something that the average person does not think about on a daily basis. This is stuff that people who are looking for this information or receive this information through intuition find. Simple as that. So when you feel like you got something that other people don't got, of course you wanna be like, hmm, you wanna turn your nose over at those who haven't went and did the work to go look for it themselves. But 
I had this, this is my way of humbling myself by doing these live streams and giving people this information. So tapping in is is great. It's great. Receiving light codes and understanding them is great. But please remain humble because what you what you are blessed with is also a curse in its own way. So you always want to be aware of the fact that you are given this gift and it can be a curse to you but why why make it why make it that when you can just easily be the light for people and share love with people and have an understanding like it's easy man it's really easy but i still want to know one thing i want to know if i should do more shoe lives on here or if I should just keep doing more Lord of Perfected Works. <laughs> Cause it seemed like I get a good balance of y'all fucking with me making music live and y'all fucking with me having these these talks with y'all about the world and shit going on in the occult world as well. And I even tried to incorporate this conversations also when I stream on uh, the PlayStation, cause I'll be, I'll be streaming on the PlayStation on the weekends, like Friday and Saturday. I normally stream the PlayStation Friday and Saturday. I don't really do it like Thursday or Sunday. Cause I'm right now I'm still working on Shoe Pro, which like I said, Shoe Pro is probably about 75% done. It ain't quite finished yet y'all, but it's almost, we get in there. I keep updating y'all on, on the status of Shoe Pro LP which is my third body of work this is my last album as have blood Soul x which is my previous artist name and the name that people know me for in the streets and in music everybody know me as half blood but i let go of half blood with this last album which is why i'm even reporting to y'all about shoe pro lp because after this every project i put out will be called well, it'll be under my my name now, which is actually my real name, Laura Shu. So I don't wanna I don't wanna keep y'all waiting, man. I really don't, cause I love y'all, and I know y'all be looking for my music, or y'all look for me to come on here and do these streams, or you know, just whatever creative things that y'all expect from me. I'm always willing to try to keep interacting with y'all, so that as shit progresses. Y'all be like, wow, he's actually, you know, adding more to the channel. Because all I'm doing is reinvesting everything back into this channel for y'all. So everybody who, who comes in here and watches this, much love to y'all. Namaste for real. You know, I don't, I have no ill will towards anybody who comes in here and got questions and want to talk. So if you got something you want to say in the chat, anytime, you welcome, you're welcome into all of these shits, okay? I'm Lord Shoe X. Y'all just watched another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I stream Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. And I also do Shoe Live Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do Lord of Perfected Work. So y'all can catch me on here. I stream twice a day, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And also, I'm working on the album, so... If y'all want to hear some music from me, you can check out my website, shoelovesrebels.com. All my music is up on there. Uh, shit, man. I appreciate everybody coming into this stream for real. So I got so much love in my heart for people who seek knowledge to better themselves so they can make the world a better place. So you, you the real MVP. I'm, I'm just the guy here just talking. Y'all the real MVPs. And I hope that everything that y'all ever dreamed of and want to make happen, I hope it fucking happens for you. And if you need help, I'm always here to help. Y'all can always hit me up on uh, Twitch. Y'all can send me a whisper on Twitch. Or you can send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. And my Instagram and Facebook is Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. Okay, that's the name of my company, Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. So... Y'all can hit me up on that, bitch. I'm a motherfucking wrap up this stream, man. Shit. This, this, these moments I have with y'all really be, it be a lot to me. Sometimes I be getting a little emotional, so y'all just gotta bear with me, man. <laughs> I 
Y'all just gotta bear with me. This shit fills me up with so much love for real. Like I don't, I don't know why I never decided to do live streams. I mean, I did my keys to the island vlog on YouTube, and it was like the closest thing to that. But it doesn't feel as, it doesn't feel as real. It doesn't feel as real to me instead of just me getting on here talking to y'all, you know, just one on one. Even if, even if nobody even saying nothing back, you know what I'm saying? Just having this one on one, it feels good to me. It feels like something I'm supposed to be doing. And also, if you're interested in this slideshow next to my face, this slideshow is actually spiritual symbolisms that will actually help you in your ascension process. These are light codes in geometric form. So I tend to keep this going during the whole, oh yeah, and this, that is actually the, uh, uh, that is Ganesha, but this is his symbol. Ganesha removes obstacles. That's how, that's how much I care about y'all, that I, I'm sending y'all messages through your subconscious so that y'all can remove obstacles and receive the real messages so that y'all can follow in your true path find yourself if you're going through a shitty ass time that my guides will come around you and send y'all love and light and darkness <laughs> i live in sort of a gray area so but i do it because i care i made this channel because i care i care about y'all so please don't think you can't hit me up. I know I'll be busy as fuck, but don't think you can't hit me up. Just hit me up on some real shit. Because I be having people calling me, and they don't be talking about shit, man. So, I'm sorry. For the people watching, and I'm, I'm sorry. I can't help it, man. I'm just not with the bullshit right now. Right now, I got a lot of things going on, and I'm working on progressing my company. And I'm working on helping other people do the same thing. So, hit me up. I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polyman based out of Georgia. You just finished watching Lord Perfected Work. I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Peace, y'all. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove